really going in. This was never really viewed from the public. The polar bear expedition was a, a useless folly that was based on a bad idea. Recreate the Eastern Front in World War I and relieve pressure on the Western Front. To Michael and Alex, me and your mother are doing everything we can to get you home. Hey, your mama loves you so much. Susan Smith chose to put her happiness and her life ahead of that of her children. So this area is not fenced like the other area is simply because of funding. Protecting America's borders has always been a risky, dangerous job. The folks here in the caravan are showing no signs of slowing down. everyone, I'm Abby Hornacek, one of your many hosts on Fox Nation. This is Fox Nation In-Depth. What you just watched was some of the great original shows on right now, but there is so much more. Here's the thing though, you can't see any of it if you don't subscribe now. But how? Well, it's easier than you think. Fox Nation's Diamond and Silk are here to explain what it's all about and how you can log on to your smartphone, computer, or streaming device to get all of our fresh original content. Ladies, take it away. Thanks, Abby. Can't wait to see you on Fox Nation. That's right. Now, now. Fox Nation is not just Fox News. It's Fox News Anticify with excitement to boost your curiosity. Mm -hmm. Let us break it down. Break it on down. Fox Nation has a library full of new original content mm -hmm. like documentaries, mm -hmm. live shows, and even weekly programming full of raw honesty and truth. That's right. Think of it as a Netflix for conservatives. Mm. If you don't have Fox Nation now, mm -hmm. then it's time for you to stop what you're doing. Stop. And let's sign up right now. So here's how you do it. Uh -huh. You pick up your phone uh -huh. and put it in your hand right now. That's right. Then go to the phone app store mm -hmm. or play store mm -hmm. and search for Fox Nation. Opinion done right. Click the get or install button. Ding. And after that, you're halfway there. Now, once that red, white, and blue Fox Nation app is on your home screen, mm -hmm. we need to get you signed up. That's right. And if you see my girl Britt wearing her beautiful pink dress uh -huh. and other Fox Nation hosts, yes. that means you're on the right screen. That's right. Now, click the red button to start your free trial and then choose which plan you want. Like which plan will work for you. Mm -hmm. Like what will be better. For That's you. Right. That's right. Because if it was Diamond and Silk, uh -huh. we already know what plan we'll pick. Mm -hmm. The yearly plan. That's right. Once you choose your plan, then click continue. Now it's time to create your account by typing in your email address. Uh-huh. And creating a new password mm -hmm. for your Fox Nation account. Hmm. And listen, y'all, listen. don't just make that password spicy. Uh -uh. You want to make that password strong. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that you can remember it. Next, add your method of payment and then click submit. And voila, just like that, uh -huh. your free trial offer will begin. Not only that, you are now in an exclusive members only club with new and original content that has never been seen before. That's right. So, tune in to watch your favorite Fox stars. Mm -hmm. Tons of educational and thrilling documentaries, uh -huh. along with daily and weekly shows mm -hmm. like Fox and Friends, After the Show, uh -huh. Tommy Lauren, First Thought, mm -hmm. The Quiz Show with Tom Shalhoub, mm -hmm. and Don't Forget About Us, mm -hmm. Your Quick Fix with Diamond and Silk. Oh, and by the way, your phone isn't the only place to watch all of this goodness. Mm -hmm. This streaming service is also available on your computer at foxnation.com. And even on your smart TV through the Fox Nation app. So, let's get this party started right. Download the Fox Nation app or visit 
foxnation.com. Don't delay. Sign up today so you can hear what all of the Fox Nation hosts have to say. I mean, if that tutorial doesn't make you want to sign up, I honestly don't know what will. As always, thank you, Diamond and Silk. You guys are the best. With Fox Nation at your fingertips or on the PC, you can see all the content we offer. From the wise guys to our widely popular scandalous series, Fox Nation has it all. Again, just go to the App Store or foxnation.com and follow the instructions. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why foxnation.com? Well, it's simple. While Fox News brings you all the stories you need, Fox Nation will go deeper on those stories you want. Sign up right now and you will see it all, including Black Eye, Dan Rather, and the birth of fake news, which details the controversial decision in 2004. CBS News and Dan Rather ran memos in their news reports claiming that President George W. Bush received preferential treatment during his military service. Those memos were later called into question. So why not include this on your Fox Nation viewing list? Take a peek at Black Eye. There have been so many rumors about George W. Bush. Did he get preferential treatment? Had he gone AWOL at some point? The general versus the deserter. I mean, that is outrageous. Dan Rather was a storied anchor. There is a danger of wanting a story too much. The minute I saw the first document, I recognized it was almost certainly a fake. CBS News was stunned. The blowback really damaged the network and effectively ended the career of Dan Rather. It's unfortunate that it all played out the way it did, but as they say in Texas, you lie in the bed that you made. Black Eye is on Fox Nation right now, but you can only see it if you start your free seven-day trial. Sounds like you need to sign up. Plus, you'll get to see this. They get a phone call from the suspect. And the suspect admits that he abducted their daughter, and he apologizes. And she picked the time. She said she was ready to depart. God was ready to accept her as an angel. Robert Blake, on May 4th, 2001, killed Bonnie Lee Lathy. That's all. He killed his wife that night. He shot her twice in the vehicle and then claimed somebody else shot her. This is the scary part that you have a, a person in the community that is supposed to be the most honest, helpful, kind, spiritual person in your community, and he's hiding pedophile priests. I've got to physically touch somebody. I've got to tie somebody up. I've got to strangle somebody. I have to complete this act, and there's no turning around. That's a sneak peek of season two of The Furman Diaries, an in-depth look at some of the biggest scandals and mysteries of our time, hosted by Mark Furman. Now, a lot of great content. I hope I have not lost you so far. Put it this way, Fox Nation has all your favorite Fox News personalities, too. Jesse Waters is there, so is Greg Gutfeld, and, of course, Nation personalities like Tyrus, Tommy Lahren, Britt McHenry, and many, many more. Just go to your streaming device, type in foxnation.com, sign up, and surf the many Fox Nation originals in a matter of minutes. All right, coming up, this. Alan Arnold, where are we right now? Uh, when we think about the founding of the United States, usually what comes to mind is Jamestown, 1607. So one of the neat things about these walls is they can be a testament to that early Spanish European colonization. 42 years before Jamestown was founded. That's What Made America Great, hosted by our guy Brian Kilmeade. Coming up next. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. six-function multi-pro tailgate, available only on the next generation GMC Sierra. Let's be honest, dealing with your insurance shouldn't be more frustrating than the accident itself. That's why insurance makes it simple. Just to...
Hi everyone, I'm Brian Kilmeade, and welcome to What Made America Great. In Texas, it's a shrine, stands for raw courage and valor and honor. People are just pretty much in awe that this actually exists. This place was filled with Civil War prisoners who were trying to get out of it. We're here in front of the oldest building in New York City. The Aaron Burr, Alexander Hamilton story is really the ultimate New York rivalry. I'm going to bring you to the Lincoln Memorial, but I'm going to bring you to a place that you've not seen before. None other than Mount Rushmore. I cannot believe we got to the top. Am I looking at the Hall of Records? That was season one of What Made America Great, one of the many historical stories we have featured on Fox Nation. Welcome back to Fox Nation in depth. If you're not already signed up, you have a few days to travel through season one. Go into the secret room behind Mount Rushmore and take a seaplane to a prison in the middle of the ocean. With us now, the host of What Made America Great and Fox and Friends co-host, Brian Kilmeade. You're doing so many things. Do you ever sleep? Not uh, Sleep is... Uh, <laughs> secondary, but I went to both those places. That's so right. So it's kind of cool. So you get to see all of America. Yeah, see, I get annoyed when my heater goes off in the middle of the night and I can't sleep. Here right. you are making history and going to all these incredible places. Now you're moving to New York and you're worried about a heater? <laughs> what about a garbage truck? Uh, sirens? Get, get, get used to that. I did live in L.A., so the sirens I'm okay with. The garbage trucks, a lot more garbage here Yeah, we do make Los a lot Angeles. of garbage for the reason. <laughs> we do throw stuff out, though. Right, right. right. That is, that's a good thing. Yes. Um, um, I want to ask you, what is your favorite thing about this new season of What Made America Great? Well, uh, to me, we're trying to go to the places that you might have heard of, you haven't been to. But at the same time, it's not going to be like the Travel Channel, where you just go take a look. We try to find the undiscovered parts of America's past that kind of shaped who we are. So many times in the, uh, when people come up to you, uh, now we have to re-examine this question. Uh, is America an exceptional nation? And I think the best way to answer that, instead of saying my opinion is, show you. So what made America great? How did we get to where we are right now? Not by being perfect, not by not going over missteps, for example. You can't go to Monticello and not see the slave row. And we go over the places where the slave headquarters were, and 75,000 people have been there already this year. And we have a, a relative of Sally Hemings who had a relationship with the Jefferson, uh, with Thomas Jefferson that he never acknowledged. How does that fit in? So we have also a third floor to the Jefferson's house. Very few people have been through. Wow. So I try to bring you there, and at the same time, well, I should say we because it's a group effort. And at the same time, try to bring something different about it, try to do it with a twist. Right. So a lot of these places that you're mentioning, we can read about in history books. Yeah. But how do you find these hidden gems? Well, I mean, for one thing, we have uh, the Interior Secretary was a huge help. And so is, uh, you'll find, especially with your, your series on na uh, national parks, mm -hmm. you'll find that people want to tell this story. And Americans show up to see this stuff. But it, here you have two things. No one's trying to make a profit. They're just trying to spread the word. So if you show up and you said, hey, I'm thinking about coming here and I need a twist. Show me something nobody else has. They say, come with me. And if it's not the person you're talking to on the phone, it's the next person. So we find out, we do the research, and our goal is, no matter how long it takes to tell the story, we'll give you that much time. So that's kind of exciting for us. And the thing is, I don't know all the answers when I show up. So I'm kind of learning with the experts, and I find that the most intriguing part of it. Uh, I did hear this, and I'm not going to reveal my source, but I heard you're kind of like the Nicolas Cage in National Treasure because you just have a map to all these places. I want you to be honest when you answer this question. Have you ever tried to steal the Declaration of Independence? I have. Yeah, I have. You and have? Has not I worked. wasn't invited? Right. And I was arrested, and thankfully <laughs> I was bailed out. Nicholas Cage, big fan, don't really understand much of what he says. He tends to mumble. Right. So I have to watch National Treasure back a few times. But the weird thing is, like, if we go to the Lincoln Memorial, they actually shot a segment over there at the Lincoln Memorial, and it does a lot of, they, they did a lot of their homework to do that fictional series where they're just dancing around what actually happened. But uh, that also intrigued me. When National Treasure was so popular, Mm -hmm. as they're having fun with American history, I thought, if they're having that much history, and again, Nicolas Cage, hard to understand, and people are watching that movie and that series, I thought that this would be another great uh, uh, thing to build onto. But we did not uh, actually steal the National of Independence. The other thing about the Declaration of Independence, they made a few copies. 
Right. So if I was to steal it, at least I know there'd be others. <laughs> That's true. And no one really knows the difference, right? right? Yeah. And by the way, I'd be the worst thief ever. I just admitted on an app that I stole something very valuable. Well, hey, we all yeah. make mistakes. But as long as it upsells and people download the app, I guess in the long run it's going to work. That's truly what the, the, the goal is here. <laughs> Let's take a look at a clip from season two of What Made America Great on Fox Nation right now. The Lincoln Memorial is the only memorial that was dug down to bedrock during construction, creating an underground structure that is as large as the monument itself. The incredible architecture and never before seen artwork done by construction workers as far back as 1914 make this a site you don't want to miss. While Secretary is over 60 feet below the surface to give you a glimpse of this time capsule to the past. That was a sneak peek of one of the locations you'll visit in season two as you travel a country with Brian Kilmeade. Five new episodes of What Made America Great are on Fox Nation right now. Thank you so much for going over all of that. The only way to see What Made America Great is to sign up for Fox Nation right now. Subscribe now. How do you do that? Go grab your phone or your tablet and download the app. You can find it by going to the App Store or to Google Play and searching Fox Nation. Sign up tonight and get one week free. That's very exciting. If you don't, you will miss this. This has put a lot of blood on my hands. Not have all the answers, and they've been stonewalled. I am the one to last see Jaime Zapata alive. You must today take the real responsibility. This was a setup, is exactly what it was. What are you going to do to clean up this mess? I have an American mother out there that still wonders what happened to her son. These gun locking operations, it never made sense from the beginning. My attorney general would not have ordered gun running to pass through into Mexico. I didn't trust anyone. That would not be an appropriate step by the ATF. Do you think there is a cover up? Sorry. America and the border. Katie Pavlich heads to Arizona to investigate the botched gun walking investigation known as Fast and Furious. It's a Fox Nation original. And Tommy Lahren heads to the U.S.-Mexican border for Keeping America Safe Month. Coming up next. The rules of luxury. Look, but don't touch. Live from America's News Headquarters, I'm Marianne Rafferty. Former acting FBI Director Andrew McCabe says in a 60 Minutes interview tonight that some Justice Department officials discussed using the 25th Amendment to try and remove President Trump from office. McCabe also revealing that former Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein's offer to wear a wire to record the president was serious and not sarcastic, as the DOJ had previously claimed. South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham promises hearings into what he calls an attempted administrative coup. And President Trump plans to fight any efforts by Congress to dis disapprove of his national emergency declaration for a border wall. Senior policy advisor Stephen Miller says the president would, quote, protect his national emergency declaration guaranteed. There has been talk on both sides of a congressional resolution to counter that declaration. I'm Marianne Rafferty. Now back to Fox Nation in depth. This month, Fox Nation goes inside one of the deadliest controversies of the past decade, with the original documentary outgunned the Fast and Furious scandal. Here's a clip. When did you first know about Fast and Furious? Fast and Furious supplied more than a thousand firearms to Mexican drug cartels. Targeted by the notorious Zetas drug cartel, two Homeland Security agents were under fire. Everybody in America should be outraged. We were giving guns to people who were killing other humans. 21 dead in Sonora, Mexico. According to sources, the guns recovered came compliments of the U.S. You government. You can't allow someone to buy 600 guns. If somebody give the order right now, go get them and bring them back. It can't be done.
Stand by. Stand by. Bodies. Modern say Toto, Policia! Water Patrol, go move! Katie Pavlich traveled to Arizona searching for answers in this original program, which is on Fox Nation. And Katie joins me now. Katie, hey, thank you so much. Here. Thank you. Uh, for people that don't know, what is the Fast and Furious scandal? So Operation Fast and Furious was a, a program, essentially, that the federal government, through the Justice Department and ATF from 2009 to 2010, they decided it would be a good idea to allow people who um, were trafficking guns to Mexican cartels in Mexico to buy thousands of firearms at gun, sh gun shops uh, in places like Arizona. So what would happen is you'd have a straw purchaser who is someone who purchases a gun because they have a clean record for someone who cannot purchase a gun, either being someone who's an illegal immigrant, Mexican cartels who live in Mexico, or someone with a, a felony on their record. Uh, so they would come into these, these gun stores, they would purchase thousands of guns. ATF told these gun dealerships that they were tracking these firearms when all along they really weren't. And the reason that Americans found out about this is because Border Patrol agent Brian Terry was killed in December of 2010 uh, by someone who had these guns in their possession. So essentially, the ATF sanctioned the sale of these firearms uh, to people who use them to kill a Border Patrol agent on American soil. Wow. I mean, you can tell by just hearing you talk about it that you are an expert on the situation. You even wrote a book about it. What made you want to bring this scandal to light? You know, it really is one of those um, situations that has is not completed and the families involved the terry family uh the family of jaime zapata who is an ice agent who was killed in mexico as a result of a similar program out of texas they still don't have closure or really any answers they do have some justice with the assailants who killed um their family members being extradited to the united states and put on trial and found guilty but when it comes to the role of the federal government sanctioning a program where they purposely allowed thousands of guns to be put into the hands of the most violent criminals, narco-terrorists in North America, um, there hasn't been a, a lot of accountability for that. So we wanted to bring to light, you know, what happened, you know, also just talking about the seriousness of the nature on the border today, why it's still very dangerous, um, and really showcase that as a result of this operation, there are serious consequences that continue uh, today, which includes hundreds of people being killed in Mexico, our own law enforcement being at risk every single day as a result of this operation and just really showing that it's a dangerous job to do. Right, and you guys obviously... documentary a good perspective on what Border Patrol is dealing with on a regular basis. Right. Well, very, very excited to see this documentary. Thank you very much, Katie. Thank you so much. Also, as part of Keeping America Safe Month on Fox Nation, Tommy Lahren is taking an in-depth look at border security by letting subscribers know the reality of the situation firsthand. She recently traveled to the U.S.-Mexican border near Tucson, Arizona, to spend a few days with the men and women of the United States Border Patrol. Tommy rode along with the agents to see what they face every day on the front lines of border security. Here's a sneak peek at Tommy's all access unfiltered report that will be dropping all next week on Fox Nation. I want to welcome you to Tucson Sector. We are one of 20 sectors in the entire United States Border Patrol. You're going to see the challenge in the environment that our people work daily. You're going to see mountain ranges out here going floors or see remote crossing areas. You're going to see how our people patrol, whether it's in vehicles, whether it's on horses, whether all-terrain vehicles, whether they're flying in the sky. You will see so much more of Katie, Tommy, and all of the Fox Nation if you subscribe right now. Go to your PC and head to foxnation.com or go grab your phone and download the app. You can find it by going to the App Store or to Google Play and searching Fox Nation. Sign up tonight and get one week free. If you don't, you won't see this. Ace of Spades hunt for Saddam Hussein. But seven hours left in the country.
started doing my interrogations. I started to realize one of my prisoners was the deputy of Muhammad Ibrahim. He breaks, and then he tells me, you got him. You got Muhammad Ibrahim here. He was sleeping next to me when the soldiers raided the house. You actually captured him. So we had my bodyguard. We'll be right back with Fox Nation in depth. I'm going to say it again. While we're in break, go sign up right now. sneak peek at Ace of Spades, the hunt for Saddam Hussein, told through the eyes of brave servicemen and experts on the ground. This riveting documentary takes you inside the search for one of the cruelest dictators the world has ever known. We all remember the historic announcement, we got him, but find out how in this Fox Nation exclusive. And that's what Fox Nation is. We go deeper. Fox News brings you the news you need, but Fox Nation brings you a more in-depth look at stories you want. Joining us now is Fox guy Pete Hegseth, who narrated Ace of Spades. Pete, thank you so much for joining yeah, absolutely. us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Can you tell me what it was like to be a part of this widely popular documentary on Fox Nation? Yeah, it was a, it was a cool project to be a part of. It's something I'm personally attached to having served in Iraq. But it's a story you think you know, right? You think you know right. about the capture of Saddam. But when you go under Underneath it, you talk to the guys who were patrolling every day, uh, the special operations types who were hunting him down, the intelligence officers who were interrogating his bodyguards, the, the luck that happens. The, the, they just they capture a guy, they don't think it's him, they find out later on it is, and the information, all of it weaves together into this amazing story about how the most wanted man in the world couldn't be found. And it led to that moment of we got him, that everybody remembers from Paul Bremer. Uh, the, the war has its own uh, narrative since then. But this is a pretty cool story. I, it, this is what Fox Nation is all about. Go deeper right. on the stuff you may have forgotten about. Definitely looking forward to it, Pete. Thank you so Thanks much. Thanks for having me. Ace of Spades, the hunt for Saddam Hussein can only be seen on Fox Nation, along with this. So help me God. We've been together eight years now, and soon it'll be time for me to go. He was all about America and making America strong and vibrant again. We meant to change a nation, and instead, we changed a world. It's a magnificent speech, it sort of wrapped up things he set out to do. I've spoken of a shining city all my political life. People had such a strong, powerful reaction to, of Reagan using this biblical language to describe modern America. And how stands the city on this winter night? More prosperous, more secure, and happier than it was eight years ago. You look at some of his speeches, they make you laugh, they make you cry, they touch you. That was Reagan's farewell address, part of Fox Nation's Big Story series, a series that revisits news stories that not only made headlines, but also made Americans stop and pause. The Big Story series can be seen only on Fox Nation. Sign up today to get your free trial. If you don't, you'll miss the latest Big Story series, The Shocking Tale of Susan Smith. There's a lady that come up that door. Some guy jumped into a red light with her car with her two kids in it. And he's got the key in? Yes, ma'am. That's a black guy, she said. <laughs> your mama loves you so much. And your daddy, these whole families love you so much. To Michael and Alex, me and your mother are doing everything we can to get you home. We all divided the county up in different areas and did grid searches. We have no reason to believe it's anything other than what it's reported to be. I just feel in my heart that you're okay. I don't think people bought her tone of voice. Have they spoken to you about taking polygraphs? I don't know. We'd rather not comment about that right now. 
It's just a nightmare. Coming up, I step into the Dungeon of Doom. That is the quiz show with Tom Shalhoub, seen only on Fox Nation. Do I survive? Find out. To be nobody but children. Welcome back to Fox Nation In-Depth. I am Abby Hornacek. Thank you so much for joining us. There is so much to see on Fox Nation, from documentaries to live daily commentary, but you can only see it if you sign up today. One of the more entertaining shows on Fox Nation is The Quiz Show. Tom Shalhoub tried to stump me, but we did have a lot of laughs. Take a look. Abby! <laughs> Welcome to the Fox Nation family. Thank you. Oh, it's so good to be a part of the family. And your family. But yeah, really. Now, I've had several of my deranged staffers spying on you this week. Oh, boy. And they told me you might be a little nervous for today's quiz. Is that what those people in the hoodies were? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I was like, yeah. why are they keep following me? I get so nervous for your quizzes, Shalou. Can you tell? Well, I, I can't tell. Oh, okay, good. Thank you, you for lying to me. Cool <laughs> as a cucumber and ready to play. So let's dive right in. You're a travel, lifestyle, and entertainment expert, so we've come up with five challenging questions that have something to do with recent advances in forensic DNA technology. <laughs> you have nothing to fear but fear itself. Abby, who said that? Uh, you did. Yes. Just now. Yeah, I made it famous. <laughs> Here is question number one. In the year 2000, a pair of shoes sold for six hundred and sixty thousand dollars. I bought those. Making them, <laughs> making them the most expensive shoes ever sold. These shoes were what? Dorothy's ruby slippers from The Wizard of Oz. A pair of Carrie's Manolo Blahniks from Sex and the City.